What's up everybody, it's your boy Indirect here with Indirect's Achievement and this is the campaign walkthrough episode number 8 for Dead Rising 3 and I actually have a special guest with me, it is the return of Daylight Diva. If you guys are not familiar with her, she uh, happened to be on my channel for just a little bit uh, for a couple of like Q&A videos and things like that. Uh, so she is returning back to the channel and she's going to try to help me out with doing some... Uh, some actual walkthroughs and you know maybe make it a little bit more entertaining for you guys um, so Daylight Diva uh, to kind of catch you up on everything of what this game is about is basically this is like 10 years later off of Dead Rising 2 and uh, it's basically like they you know they cleared up all the zombies or something like that and and then the boom they ended up you know becoming all zombies again or something like that I don't know the full details of the game but I do know there's a hell of a lot of zombies so hopefully we can uh, actually survive it um, so far what we've been through is uh, you know we found a survival group um, and you know we already killed you know a bunch of zombies I think about 2,000 zombies already and uh, right now we're just in the middle of doing a mission so uh, daylight deal with all that being said what exactly uh, are you looking to entertain us with in this video I found out that most video games has a lot to, you know, show for providing a storyline. And I've been in this class while I'm in college. It's called Art Appreciation. Most of it has to do with, like, giving appreciation to, like, paintings. But they also do video games. And during these video games, you can take notice of small details that maybe entertain some of y'all just actually know it. Like, for example, his uniform is a bad impersonation of a U U.S. Army uniform. You can tell by his patch on his arm, horrible, and another disclaimer notice, look at their eyes. These zombies, come on, what zombies has red eyes, like glowing red eyes? Well, look at Resident Evil, though. Resident Evil, their zombies have red eyes. But in what sense, I mean, how, how would they obtain these red but eyes, I mean, glowing red eyes? Like Because the red eyes actually resembles the infection. I mean, you know, look at, uh, I mean, who says that our zombies, such as, you know, The Walking Dead, which does come on tonight, uh, I mean, who says that The Walking Dead is, uh, is correct on zombies? Who says Resident Evil is correct on zombies? We don't know really what, you know, zombies would look like, but I do know for a fact that Resident Evil, they do have red eyes and they're zombies. Um, but I mean, I guess I, I want to say that it just resembles, like, just the infection in general. Um, such as if you like smoke weed, you know, your eyes turn red because guess what? You're stoned, <laughs> you know? I mean, that's probably a uh, bad reference of the whole no. zombies in general. Good note, all right. If you notice back in the scene where he just entered, the blood stain on the wall was not actually a blood stain, but a painting of a gun with a man. Anybody in here? Did not notice that until now. You know. With this character scheme of his head, I really love it. It's, it's <laughs> and, and exactly, and that's one thing I really like about Dead Rising 3. Um, there's actually tons of masks in this game. Like, you can wear... Uh, oh, whoa, what just happened? So, um, we got either stabbed, I'm thinking. I think that's, a, I think that's just like a surgeon. I think he hit us with a anesthetic or something like that, yeah? Ooh, I like or it. Or paralysis. I'm definitely liking it. Yeah, from what I was saying before, though, they have tons of masks in this game, um, and I actually found the army uniform. I was actually in a mechanic uniform, I actually found that, and I was like, oh, wow, you know what, I'm going to go and wear it. Um, but yeah, but this this scene right here is actually pretty, uh, seems pretty intense right now. I'm trying to figure out what exactly is going on. That's mine. You hear me? You took all this from these people. You have to seize the opportunity, or you lose the profit. Simple. The free market, at its finest. You, you're a murderer. I'm a business. If anyone's a murderer in this game, you're my next death. what declares a murderer? You know, killing other humans. Maybe they're dead. But when the apocalypse comes, who will be called murderers? You know? Uh huh. That's my thing. Who, who's the bad guys? Are we the bad guys or are they the bad guys? What the hell is going on? It's telling me I gotta defeat the real Albert. Uh, Maybe the real Albert's the... No, I just think that he just hit me with... I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's Maybe going on. Maybe he's knocking your head like a watermelon. <clears throat> Maybe you should have a watermelon head. Organ cooler? 
Did he just take out, like, did he take out my organs or something? No, I think he was ripping hers out. No, because see, you got your organ cooler right here. But it, you would have been opened up, so. Yeah, he could have closed it, but uh, if you're walking around banging stuff. So. See, the, the female is going back and forth. Do you see what I'm saying? And you're constantly hitting the doctor. If you're seeing oh, hallucinations, it might be the girl. Alright, I think he just killed me. Now he's killing you. Next time, up. next time go for the, the girl. No, that's not it. Because he's the real one. The the woman is just a... See what I'm saying? So he's the real one because he's the one that's getting hurt. He is stabbing you good. Yeah, but see, the thing is, like, he... He ingested, I don't know, not ingested, but he he hit me with some kind of paralysis uh, type of syringe. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on. I think it's just the side effects, but now I'm just trying to... Why don't you take that and hit him in the head? Take one of those coolers and hit him in the head. Because I don't take, think take I one have those coolers to. Hold on one second, hold on. Because see, I don't have any of my weapons. So oh, I'm saying, shit. get the cooler. You can hit someone with, get the cooler. You know what I'm saying? And you can block yourself with a cooler. I press X. How the hell did he get me? Hit the cooler. The cooler is not going to do anything. The cooler! I love how he just like saws you open and you continue to get up. Get the cooler. Because he's a badass. It's like a lunchbox. You're taking your lunchbox. Okay, don't get the cooler. I don't like the cooler. I prefer to hit people with my fists. Get a snack. Get that snack. When you're hitting somebody, you gotta find that snack. I don't get the point of having a human organ cooler. I don't. I don't get it. Why did you just hit him? I am. Get that thing out of his hand. I think I think these are just side effects. Like once you like hurt them a little bit, it just kind of makes you doze in and out. Every time. Let me get this ham real quick. Uh, burrito. <laughs> yeah, we always need those burritos. He's gonna puke. Watch. He's gonna puke. Watch. Oh <laughs> uh, my god. So I'm thinking that burrito wasn't good. Oh wait, wrong yeah, dude. Yeah, wrong person. Innocent guy. Oh, oh, oh god. What? I don't get it. I defeat him in the whole stick ordeal and he still gets me. And he's still there. Can I hit him? Come on, go get him. I don't get it. So I'm thinking he's gonna do it in your apartment. And why would they throw in the whole stick thing? To make you feel like you have some control of how morbidly you're gonna die. Nah, I severely doubt that. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find some health because I'm not about to die here. I don't plan on it. Oh. Another organ cooler, like there's no like health. What if you around. eat healthy organs, will you become healthy? It will not let me. Well, get that ham, because we always need a ham in the time of need. Um, I, I hear somebody like dying or something. That's always oh, a good there thing. There he is. If it's not you, you it's just not you nothing to worry about, you know. Yeah, screw it. Let's actually grab the cooler. See maybe see what happens. And hit him in the head with it. Knock the shoot out of him. Knock him. Yes! Yes! Okay, maybe not. Grab another cooler. Grab another cooler. Or a piece of ham, you know? Ham's always are always good. Or chase him. Oh, this is the real one right here. Yeah, he 
can. Okay, so... Which one? Who's real first? Oh my That's god, there's right three? Here. It's him right here. I don't know. This is just, uh, extremely weird. It's like, you figure while you're passed out, he would try to kill you. At least that, that's what I would do. So he probably can't kill you because you got a big old tank on your head, or is it a uh, mustard jar? Oh, shit. Is that on your head, a mustard jar? No, it's like some kind of, uh... I don't know, it's like some kind of, like, pop-on toy something. It was just like the head of it. <laughs> Literally. I don't think that's him. I don't think that's him either. Yeah, if he doesn't have a tool, I'm guessing. You know, at, at the beginning of the game, where you first came in, you can honestly tell the difference. It's not due to the rapid change of the girl to him. Go towards him. Go towards him. Why he's hurt. Go, 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 go. Alright. Good job, Indirect. Thank you, thank you. And now we have zombies. Fabulous. I right, just know he's hallucinating, is what it is. Oh, he cut himself. That is the best way to go. Just grab your order and oh. let him have it. His intestines. Wow. Not gonna lie, that's actually some pretty decent graphics. It really Not gonna lie. Alright, so we defeated the real Albert, folks. Um, Steve is dead. Uh, so now we have a female. Maybe a company. And One thing too, before we actually go into that, actually we got some tri uh, tribute points. Now what a tribute points is, as you can see here, the life, inventory, melee, and stuff like that. It allows us to get better, stronger, things like that. So like our life, you know, the more I fill that up, the bigger our life goes. So you, ca you catch my drift? So for like melees, like if I click this one, it would give us uh, our melee weapons will last longer than normal. So um, we're actually going to go ahead and put that on there too. Now we're out of uh, tribute points. So uh, go, go ahead and continue what you were saying, Daylight Diva. Oh, I'm not sure what I was saying. I'm more focused on his mustard head. A mustard head? You're a mustard jar? You know you're a mustard I suppose. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't really know what a mustard head is. I mean... You are the... Oh, I damn. think you should just beat her up. Take her over and Oh, know? look at all these guns. So let's expend all our bullets and do chemicals. The best way to ingest them is eat. Oh yeah. Them. Also, too, blueprints. Throw this out there too. Uh, blueprints are you find throughout the game, and uh, it basically tells you you can combine, such as the zombie raker. You can combine a katana sword and a leaf rake, and you can combine it into that weapon. It's pretty cool. They did it back in Dead Rising 3. And uh, this one that we actually just got is... Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I know we got a lot of them here. It's called the Acid Jar. You combine chemicals and household cleaner. And I'm actually going to show you how to do that. We already picked them up. And what you do is you hold the, uh, hold the RB button. And as you can see, we have them. We just press A for combo. And then we build it. Just like that. I love Acid Jars. And what's really cool about it is if you're you know stuck in a jam, you, know, you can just throw it at a couple of zombies and they explode. Or whatever the case is. I haven't uh, actually um, got uh, this um, actual uh, blueprint because we just got it. So, But there's tons of it throughout the game. And uh, you know, I'm going to try to get them all, hopefully. So Daylight Diva, um, I do know that you are a huge fan of The Walking Dead. And you told me quite a few times that you want to be a zombie. Yes. Um, and it just almost seems like you just don't even want to try to survive. Like, you just str well, strictly want to be a zombie. Either way, well, I, I want to be the, I guess, the antagonist to people who are like, you know, how everyone's like, oh, I want to be the hero. I want to be the zombie that's going to tear your eyes out and make you leave your family. I'm kidding about the part. But, no, I think it'd be pretty, like, maybe in, like, a, uh, in a 
contextual sense. I'm not want to be a zombie in, like, real life. Maybe in a movie, but if there was zombies and I did have to survive, I think Indirect would be a good person to survive with due to his mustard head. Due to my mustard head, but you do realize that this is a video game. It's not real life. I mean, it's not... Expl explain to me what do you mean by a good person like you think that I'd be a good protector or do you think that my amazingly huge muscles you know will protect us I mean I mean like you'd be good meat for these zombies for me to throw out so I can run away oh yeah you think you can throw me no no definitely not and why do you say that well I can when you're in a tight jam I'll just oh yeah no <laughs> I mean, I, I, I would protect you, Daylight Diva. I, I, I would. Would you would you really? Yes. But if it had to be like a life-death situation... I mean, how does it feel knowing you have to protect someone and they cannot return? I can protect you in a sense of, like, a couple zombies, but that right there? Yeah, um, not so much. Ah. Let's uh, ditch that motorcycle. And I'm ah. <laughs> Sorry. It's just they're uh, chasing the hell out of me. <laughs> Can you drive trucks in here? Uh, no, because I'll show you in just a sec that these are actually... Decoy trucks? No, they, uh, they have this, uh, whole field blocked off with, uh, these little poles throughout the ground, so it's not allowing me to drive anywhere. So, uh, what are you, uh, trying to do sitting here in the middle of zombies? Are you trying to go past them, or are you trying to kill them all and... I'm actually trying to get out of here. I'm trying to, I'm I mean, trying to get past I understand you want to read some magazines and take them to go, but I think really that important. Well, see, see, see the little yellow markers across the field there? Oh. That's what we're trying to, you know, see the yellow oh, okay, mark, yeah, 420 meters, okay. 480 meters. And that's the uh, objectives that we have to actually get to. And I'm pretty sure I might be able to find, like, a better way to go around, but it's just not my style, you know, like, to cut right through, you know. Uh, yeah, I like, I like a little danger in life. Deep, you know? Yeah, I, I like going balls deep. I mean, <laughs> it's the only way to do it. Because everybody wants the D, right? Yes, yes. Everybody wants the D, no matter if you're a guy or a girl. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but, um, yeah, like I said, you know, Daylight Diva, you know, she was in a couple of my uh, videos. I was. Um, and, uh, but now, she, you know, she's, like I said, she's back. You know, she's ready to, uh, you know, do a few walkthrough videos with me in her spare time. And I don't know how many she will be in, but, you know, as soon as that, uh, you know, she comes over and she wants to do some, you know, she usually lets me know. I like the way that he was walking. He was walking sideways. Like, like that one? Like that yeah. one? <laughs> I like that. That, that, I have a feeling that if you were a zombie, you, walk you would sideways. walk. Yeah, you you would walk. Of like course, it. I would. I would do the weirdest crawling we ever seen. That way, when you look at me, you're like, I let her live because the way she's walking, you know. Yeah. So, uh, do you ever get to sit down and you know, take a, you know, break? Do you ever take a leak in this? Um, actually, uh, I mean, this game does. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a teddy bear just for you. I, I really want the teddy bear, <laughs> and if you can get the teddy bear, we would be best friends right now. Like. Hands down. Well, we're, we're already not best friends. Well, on Valentine's Day, I did not receive a bear from anybody. So I think that'd be sufficient enough to get a bear. Right how, about, how about a Lamborghini? How about that? Uh, well, that would work too. That would work too. <laughs> but a bear would be nice since it's a kind of like a, um, and I guess in uh, a uh, Easter egg. Is that what they call them? Um, I don't think the bear is an Easter egg in this game because... I mean, there's, I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, Easter eggs, yeah, in the past, uh, I believe I've done a few of them in the past. Uh, like, Easter eggs are basically, um... You're getting the car dirty. Uh, it's not blood. dirty, it's bloody. <laughs> um, I gotta clear you're out... getting someone under the hood, ugh. I know, it's it's pretty it's pretty fun. As you can see, actually, at the, if you look at the top left corner, okay. that's how many zombies do we have killed. Do they regenerate at all? Like, if you kill all the ones in the city, do they always come back? I I don't think you can kill every zombie. I think that's the way the game is made. They regenerate after a certain amount of time. You know, and, so, like, I mean, obviously, there's a... Oh. Yeah, let's go through the stairs right there. See the stairs? See right there? Go jump over it. This way? Yeah, go up it. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah, see, see the what? security camera? Yeah. This is actually what we have to destroy. Well, you see? Hey, I'm getting in the right way. There we go. Hey, right there. Done. 
My thing is, is who's the watching the cameras enough? Oh, man, we can kill the cop, oh, guys. Oh, yeah, the, the whole security thing. I forgot to actually tell you. Um, The video game uh, mission that we're doing right now. Oh, yeah, toy robot. Yeah, it's robot. a toy robot. It's us. It's us. Yeah, this see, that's actually us. the head I'm wearing. That's the head I'm wearing. Can we hold him? If you, Do you want me to hold him? Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll hold him. Thank you. Um, and just carry it around instead of your gun. That would be better off. But what I was saying before, um, the security cameras, it's almost like they're ran by the government. And they don't want anybody coming back or they're trying to, um, they're trying to keep, Ooh, yeah. um. Double points. Okay, so this is locked. Um, how do we get it unlocked? I don't think we do. I just think that we are supposed to go back down. But since we're already over here, I'm kind of curious what's actually up here. Hot tub, potty, potty, nah, no. What is this? Machine gun? Oh, Ooh. crossbow. No, hey. who do we know has a crossbow? Well, I would say, um, Daryl. Your boy, da uh, Daryl. Yeah, Daryl is a badass. I'm not gonna lie. Walking Dead, Daryl. Uh, he, uh, if he, if he actually ever died in The Walking Dead, I probably would not We would even... all riot. Oh, Obviously, yeah. Yeah, we, we, would, we would riot. I'm pretty sure we would. Melon. Why don't you get that melon? Because we're already at full health. We don't need it. What if we want to stuff ourselves? What if we fell out the gate? Probably would have got hurt even more. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, let's go ahead and um, let's see. Let's see what's on our map. So basically, I get to that last marker point, and I believe the mission will be done. Bella. Do we want that crossbow? I don't really want it. Well, yeah, I guess we can. Let me switch to this little gas bomb thing just throw it randomly see if we kill anybody oh we did ha! very nice oh god there's a police officer ah can I get back in my Lambo no you crashed it -uh. I can still get in it Oh, it's yes. about to explode. Run, 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 run! Get in that car right there. Oh, shit. It hurt. Nice. I like oh, look at that fat man. What's in that car? I don't know. Nice. Let's oh, wow. I don't want a flashlight. I want my... I think at nighttime there's actually more zombies that actually come out. But oh, guess where we get to go, Miss Daylight Diva? The strip club. Yes, that's actually correct. We are going to the strip club, I believe. Let's go to the strip club, everybody. Oh, can you grab that lawnmower real quick? I would love to if there weren't so many zombies. <laughs> there's a lot of damn zombies. <gasps> Teddy! Oh, what you want, is he you, want, doing? you want the Teddy Bear? Oh. Freedom Bear. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay. What is he doing? So, so cute. let's look what that is. Freedom Bear, you got a, a robot bear and an LMG. Heck and yes, take There's the robot and then yes. there's the LMG. Put it in your pocket. See, I love it. Where did I know, you, watch where did this. Go? Watch this now. You're going to love this. I'm a You're going to love this. Look let's at the Freedom Bear. He is going to have a machine gun. Actually, I don't, let's see. That is what he looks like now. That is badass. I'm not going to lie. Everybody, hands up to the Freedom Bear. You want to see what he does? I wanted the bear. You want to see what he does? He's like a he's like a he's like a, a mini a mini turret. Like he just it's, it's like an automatic turret. That's pretty cool. Why well, can't he shoot? I think because he can't see anybody. So I tell you what, we're gonna jump down here real quick. I'm gonna put him right here. If I can hurry. <laughs> oh my Freedom God. Bear is awesome. That Look at is that. Awesome. If Look that's awesome. That. the one's oh pop 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 pop. I'm guessing what the PP is me. I'm kidding people. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. Hey, um, this is awesome. One bear for one man. This is awesome. Okay, yeah, not necessary. Alright, well, that was the end of Ted, uh, Freedom Bear, or whatever you want to call him. 
Yeah, let's jump into this muscle car real quick. And I think that was actually our last thing that we had to do, so I think we're going to head back over here. I think I'm going to turn down this way. Oh, And let's my give goodness. it up to the fabulous driver. Hey, the driving is a lot harder than it looks. Get ah. chipped. Yeah, the thing about Daylight Diva is it's almost like she, she tries to bring me down in my video game experience. Oh, no, always trying to get you up. It seems like you just don't got what it is. That, or, or I guess I could look at it in a positive way. You try to up I'm my game. I'm exactly. Game. You, you, yes. You're like a coach, you know. You, you, you try to push me to be a better gamer. And I think that's just the way I'm going to look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Definitely. I'm not trying to bring you down. There's always some positives instead of negatives. Ooh, what is that? Limited edition. That is uh, it's actually an achievement throughout the game where if you find 70 of these bad boys, you will um, get an achievement. Uh, so, I mean, might as well pick them up as we go, but. The thing is, where does. You know? Well, he, I mean, he does have an army uniform. But I tell you, I've worn an army uniform. There's only a. In the pockets. Yes, there's a lot of stuff, small stuff you can fit in, but they're like a yeah, statue. Guess, yeah, they be sticking out of the pocket. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but, you know, this is actually... A video game, gotcha. It is a video game, but that's one thing I actually like about Dead Rising 3, you know? Like, Dead Rising 3... Look at that girl, she is, she is on for the ride. Let's just take her, you know? Yeah. Or kill her. You know, well, she see, I gotta, find, I gotta find my way around. I forgot how I got over there. So, is, this is one big city. What city is this? Um... I honestly have... No idea. Um, no, we're uh, at Palm apparently Tree, we're so apparently we're in we're... Sunset Hills. Okay. We're we're in Sunset Hills. We must be near the coast due to the. I want to say we're in California. Yeah. I, that's what I really want to say because these look like some. Oh shit. Okay, so we. I mean, because it does look like we're somewhere in California. Um. So let's see if we can. Uh, oh shit. Get away. See if we can make our way around to where we need to go because I cannot go that way. Alright, let's use this map real quick. So it's almost like... I can't go this way, so screw it. Let's just hop into this Lamborghini over here real quick. What you think about that Lamborghini? It's red. Pretty nice. Pretty cherry nice. red. Like cherry yogurt. <laughs> oh god! Look at that. I think I already wrecked it. Hands up to the killer of all. Ah uh, really? Oh, hey! Wow! Look at there. What are the odds? Another Lamborghini. And I think we got to be in California or Miami. Yes. We got to be. Home of the beautiful Just. I would imagine you could. That's like a lot of zombies. Think of how many kids you can run over, you know? Just kidding. Kids? What if we... Minutes 41 seconds. Uh, so there's a big barricade. I'm gonna force my way in. <laughs> bring yourself like a wrecking ball. Oh Something shit, like I didn't even see him. Can we see your head without the thing? I, I don't know how to actually take it off. Um, Player. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that has to do with it. Um, this food recipes. Food recipe. I don't know uh, how to actually take it off. Um, but usually during the cutscenes, it actually just takes it off for you, I believe. Did you know in an MRE there's dessert such as peach cobbler? Yes, I did. Very good. Very good. I didn't know this. Next do time. Have to, do I have to go this way? I think this is the way to get in. 
Ah, it is. Okay, good. Can continue what you're saying. Because because this this uh this walkthrough is actually coming to a close. So go ahead and continue what you're saying. Lauren is a tattooed bitch that uh has a piercing in her nose. I did. I'm sorry. You have a problem with that? Stress signal from Angel. Well, you made it back. Don't sound so surprised. Red, what's happening? Angel said there's a computer recording of the attacks on the civilians over at the police station. It's from all the security cameras. We could bust them all with that when we get out of here. Mm -hmm. But first, we got to get to Angel. She thinks they found out her position. Well, I can go to the police station. I mean, if it's just getting that information off the computer. Think you can handle it, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. All right. Angel's on the second floor by the pool of a hotel in Central City. You go to the police station, handle that, and then you meet us there. You got that? You all right, Nick? You all right? Come on, Annie. We gotta get to Angel. I'll keep you safe. Alright you guys, well that's going to do it for uh, episode number 8 for the campaign walkthrough for Dead Rising 3. Daylight Diva. It has been a pleasure. My, uh, my, my gracious way to say hello, everybody. Let's give a round of applause to your southern accent. You just well, yeah, I was going to call you something else, but I'm going to call you Daylight Diva. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's going to be it for this campaign walkthrough, episode number eight for Dead Rising 3. Any last words, Daylight Diva? Walking Dead's going to be on. All right, well, yeah. yeah, that's it, you guys. We got to go, and we'll catch you guys next time.